My name is Elena Garcia, and I did research on residents' perceptions of social activity and social interaction within an affordable assisted living facility. Um, I interviewed 20 residents of an affordable assisted living facility and did a semi-structured interview asking them about their social interactions and their social activities within the facility. And I found that most of the residents in the facility feel like they have superficial relationships with other residents. They feel like they don't have friendships here and they have more acquaintances. And this is because of the fact that they socialize in public areas. They never go to each other's rooms and socialize within the apartments. And so they don't have a lot of opportunity for mutual disclosure. I also found that there's a lot of activities offered at this facility and the residents know about these activities. They're told about them every day and they get knocks on their doors saying, you know, please come out to the facility. But they feel like that these activities are not for them. They're not interested in participating in them, which could also have an effect on the fact that they don't feel like they have meaningful friendships within the facility. The third thing I found was that they had difficulty adjusting to the facility life, which also has an effect on the activities they participate in and the friendships that they have here. And this is because of the fact that many of them felt that they didn't have a choice in coming to the facility. Most of them feel as though they were dumped here, and that's a term that they actually use very frequently. And some of the reason for this is because this is an affordable assisted living facility, so a lot of the residents don't have any options. There's only a few affordable assisted living facilities in Connecticut, and the reason that they're here is because they don't have an option to go to a private assisted living facility because of their finances. And so many of them got sick and their families kind of freaked out and said, where do we put them, and ended up sending them here so they didn't have much of a choice. And we found that these results all came back to one very important point, and is that many residents who have financial problems don't get a choice in coming to a facility. And so they don't feel as though they like the facility and they don't want to interact with other people at the facility and they don't have any sense of permanence within the facility. Other residents that are moving to private upscale assisted living facilities, they feel as though this was my decision. I want to participate in this facility. I want to give it what I can. And so they have more friendships and more relationships there. Great, thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about what the private support has meant to your research? Um, the private support from the SURF grant has meant that I was able to interview 20 residents over the summer. And I don't think without the funding that I would have been able to interview as many residents or even do interviews at all because they are very time consuming.